Well, it's playoff weekend for FC Cincinnati, but why wait until match day to drum up excitement? Of course, so WLWT's morning anchor Kelly Rippin caught up with the fans who bring the hype all season long. The OG FC Cincinnati fans have been gearing up for this moment for years, collecting that orange and blue attire, lifting the team up from the Bailey with their chants and their songs, and showing up loud and proud as that team gets its footing. It's all prepared them for this weekend when the team hosts their first playoff match at TQL Stadium. Last week we brought kind of a sound reader into the stadium and it read at 124 decibels at peak, which is the equivalent of a jet taking off. So that is, that's the kind of noise you can expect in the stadium. Uh, and that was for a regular season game that didn't really matter in the end. So this is a playoff game. It's a whole different atmosphere. It's time for FC Cincinnati to take things to the next level. And the fans who have been there since the beginning are ready to continue making history. There's only one first home playoff game and this is our first home playoff game. We bleed orange and blue. We are Cincy till we die. And every single person, I mean, we're going to do this if it, the record were the opposite, but we've got incredible group here that gives us something worth fighting for and this place has become a fortress because of that. Zach Blanford and Reese Meester are part of the supporter groups who fuel the energy inside the stadium. They have weathered the ups and downs from Nippert Stadium to TQL. These are the moments it's hard to step back and realize sometimes like this is history for the city. Like it's been a long time since we've had something like this to feel this proud about um, and to do it in this way of uh, I mean, no matter what, we're still going to be here. Now, Sunday's match, not without the nerves. Both Blanford and Meister are Cincinnatians and say they've been through disappointment before, but they are confident in this team because they've passed every test so far. Kelly Rippin, WLWT News 5.